fee fi fo yum Busy, busy. Uh, studio's finished. What next? A showbiz star. Alas. Welcome to family fun for you with me, Les Dennis. Where are you? What you are you? Why you can't grab me? I'm a game oh, show. Ah. Next, you munchies. Yum, yum. What are you doing? What are you doing? You, you can't eat it. I can. Put him down, Watch me. Fella. Fee-fi-fo-yum! And today's contestants, all the way from Wales, it's the Port Court Pirates. They'll be playing against the Wimbledon winners who have come from London. Here's a taste of the thrills and spills that stand between them and their freedom. And now, here he is. Every giant's favourite host, it's Des the Coming Les Dennis! Oh, ha, 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 Hello! Thank you very much. Hello and welcome to Fee Fi Fo Yum, the show where the team that's not the winner will be Brian's dinner. That's right, and have we got a feast of a show for you today. Looking forward to the show, Brian? <laughs> Brian? Oh, sorry, Dad. I'm just enjoying a bit of chockey. <laughs> uh, no, thanks, Brian. I've got a show to present. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> All the more for me, then. Yeah, well, you just make sure that you don't ruin your appetite for later on, OK? <laughs> Let's meet the teams. First of all, we meet the Paul Paul Pirates! Yeah! Whoa! Hiya, Jaden. Hiya, Les. Introduce it to your team. Robin. Hiya, Les. Hiya, Robin. Megan. Hiya, Les. Hiya, Megan. Thomas. Hiya, Hiya Thomas. Les. And Reese. Hiya, Les. Hiya, Reese. And you did a real ooh-ah there for the Paul Paul Pirates. Can you do it all again? Ooh-ah! What kind of team would you say you are, Jaden? Confident. And the others are toast. They're toast. Well, Brian loves toast. Yum. OK, that's the Paul Paul Pirates. Let's meet the Wimbledon winners! <laughs> Hiya, Jesse. How are you? I'm fine. Introduce it to your team. Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Lewis. Hi, Lois. Alicia. Hi, Les. Hi, Alicia. And Jordan. Hi, Les. Hi, Jordan. What kind of team are you? Do you reckon you're toast? No. No. no? They're going to be toast, and Brian's going to eat them in some toast and some nice peanut butter. Oh, peanut butter as well. OK, Charlie. I don't know whether he likes peanut butter. Do you like it, Brian? Oh. Too claggy. Not really. OK, that's the teams! <laughs> this is how we play Feed by Fo Yum. You will compete in a series of games in order to earn time. The more time you earn, the better your chance in the show's finale, The Great Escape. Remember, the team that's not the winner will be Brian's... Gina! Yeah! Is that clear, teams? Yes! Yeah! Let's play game one. About once a month, Brian loves to order himself a chow mein from the local Chinese takeaway. He really loves that Chinese takeaway, mm. and he loves a chow mein. But Brian, will you, will you stop it? Sorry, Dave. I'm trying <laughs> to play a game here. OK. Well, Brian's got a problem. Actually, he's got a lot of problems, but today he's got one specific problem, because the Chinese takeaway has only put peas in the chow mein. Oh! I know! Oh! And Brian hates peas. So, teams, your job in this game is to take as many peas as you can out of your chow mein, put them onto the plates with the chopsticks that Brian has given you. The team that puts the most peas onto the plate will win the first five-second lifeline and, more importantly, take Brian's mind off eating you for a while. Mm. OK, Brian, who's going to play? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I think you should have a go. Robin and Megan, you look delicious. And for this game, I'm going to pick... Jesse and Jordan. You're making my mouth water. Brian's made his choice. Teams, let's play! <laughs> chop, chop. OK, teams, you have until Brian's egg timer runs out to get those peas on the plate. 
All right, Brian, over to you. Three, two, one, chop, chop. Okay, teams, you're off. As many peas as you can onto your plate. Oh, you peas on the table. Oh, poor cool. pirates have got one in a million places. They're going to go on the plate. Yes, it's on the plate. It's really tricky this. You've got to think as a couple. In a second for the poor cool pirates. Yes, it is. 30 seconds left. One there. I get so caught up watching this, I can't even talk. Oh, this is... 20 seconds. You cannot pee on the plate! Yeah! Oh, one, so you need to catch up and that egg timer will be running out pretty soon. Oh, five to get you! Brian is going to love this, Chalmain! Whoa, I tell you what, this chow mein is really going to no. keep Brian's hunger at bay, and he is stuffing his face today. <laughs> so let's see, Port Call Pirates, you got five peas on your plate. Well done. Oh, Wimbledon winners, only the one pea on your plate, so you get no seconds, and you made it so easy peasy, you get the five second no. lifeline. Well done. To play for. That's all for part one of Fee Fi Fo Young. Join us after this. <laughs> if too much loud music is giving you earache, then you need the all new and improved. Simply raise your left elbow a little higher. And raise the Medi Mallet. Get that a little lower. And now apply firmly. Yeah, now you're rocking! The Medi Mallet won't cure your earache, but it'll sure take your mind off it. Medi Mallet! If symptoms persist, don't blame us. Welcome back to Fee Fi Fo Young. Now, before the ads, the Port Call Pirates took the first. Uh, hello? Uh, what, one two? Hello? Yum. Brian! Mm. People need to hear what I'm saying. Excuse me, could you come in a bit closer, please, with that microphone? Thank you. OK. As I was saying, before the ads, the Port Call Pirates got the first five-second lifeline. But there's still plenty of time up for grabs. And what does time mean? Freedom! Yes. Now then, Brian, this is your favourite part of the show, isn't it? Would you like to introduce it? It's Dezzy's Tasty Challenge! How many times, Brian? It's Les's Tasty Challenge! Sorry, Des. <laughs> Dezzy's Tasty Challenge! Do you know, Thomas, I really want to escape, but I don't know whether I should risk it. Huh? Uh, oh, uh, Brian, I just said you really can't beat a chocky gob biscuit. You're right there, Des. Although I can never decide between a milk or a white chockey. I think I prefer milk to the dark because... <laughs> it really doesn't matter right now, Brian. I've got a show to present. Right, on with Les's Tasty Challenge. Now, under this dish is a type of food that Brian has put here. I have no idea, teams, what it is. Your job is to guess how much of this I can eat in 30 seconds, OK? Let's reveal the meal. Oh. Yummy, pickled yummy, onions! Yummy. Pickled onions. How many of these do you think I can eat? And you got a lot of groans from you. How many do you think I can eat in 30 seconds? Write down your guesses, but don't show the other teams. Brian, pickled onions. Lovely. Yes, pickled onions would go nicely with a nice little salad or a cheese. Well, no, not cheese. I hate cheese. Did I say cheese? No, I don't like cheese, Brian. Don't even think about it. Pickled onions, I love them on their own. I think ten. Not sure what my breath's going to be like after this, but never mind. OK, teams, you should have come up with your guesses. Keep them to yourselves. 
as we start. Brian, can I have my light, please? I have 30 seconds starting now. Come on, Les. Come on. 20 seconds. You've started, so you're finished. <laughs> oh, gone. So, Port Call Pirates, what was your guess? We guessed 13, oh. Les. OK, 13 from you. Wimbledon winners, what did you guess? We guessed 10. Hmm. A difference of three. Brian, how many of those pickled onions did I eat in 30 seconds? I have just eaten 11 chocolate gobs. <laughs> no, Brian, I didn't ask you how many biscuits you've eaten. I said, how many pickled onions have I eaten? Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> um, I can confirm you've just eaten eight pickled onions. Eight. So that means the Wimbledon winners are the nearest nice with ten. Five. So you get a five-second line. So that's five seconds each at the end of the second game, all to play for as we go towards the great escape at the end of the show. We're going to take a break. Join us after this. <laughs> when you're in a hurry and you're going to be late, it's time to get some breakfast served up quickly on your plate. So when you're in a hurry with a grumpy song, Grab Humanchi Crunchy and the job is done. Your Humanchi Crunchy is packed with the hearty goodness of thousands of Humanchis. Lightly toasted until golden brown and glazed in honey for that extra crunch. Humanchi Crunchy. Make sure breakfast is fun. Grab Humanchi Crunchy and the job is done. And we got a really close contest. The Port Gaul Pirates have a five second lifeline. Yeah! And the Wimbledon winners have a five second lifeline. Yeah! So, plenty of time up for grabs as we play our next game. But unfortunately, Brian's not very happy. The reason Brian's sulking is because during the break, <laughs> disaster struck. He only went and dropped his last two chocky gob biscuits, didn't he? Aww. Your job in this game is to dive into the custard, get the bits of biscuit out, and recreate them as quickly as you can. Because if there's one thing this giant doesn't like, it's a soggy biscuit. All clear, teams? Yes! yes! Come on, then, Brian, stop sulking. Who's going into the custard? For this game, I'm going to pick... Jade. Mmm. And who's making the biscuit? Reese and Thomas. Yummy, yummy. And I think you should have a go. Charlie. And who's making the biscuit? I'd like to choose Alicia and Lois. You look tasty. Brian's made his choice. Teams, let's play! Vicky break. Jaden and Charlie, you're diving for the bits. You will pass them to Reese and Lilicia, who will then pass them to Thomas and Lois, who will make the biscuits. Fourth goal pirates, you are milk chocky gobs. And Wimbledon winners, you are the white chocky gobs. Good luck. Goggles on. Three, two, one, go! Come on, get our Vicky back together. One little bit on the plate for the Port Ball Pirates. Jaden's having trouble there. Guys, you can pull and help him. Come on, get him up! 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 Get
This is both a mental and a physical test, guys. No, that isn't it. That's it, put the pieces on the plate and then put your biscuit together. That's a silly! That's a silly! That's a You're pretty close, Pirates. You're nearly there. Winners and winners, you need to catch up. This looks like it's your last piece here, poor Ball Pirates. You can kind of see the letters on your bits of chocolate. That should help you put it back together. The Wimbledon winners are far behind now. It's now down to who puts the chocolate biscuit together. Poor Cool Pirates. Poor Cool Pirates. Yes, it looks like you've made your milk chocky gob. Well done. It's there, so that means that the Wimbledon winners, you failed to make your chalky gob. So I'm sorry mm. about that. That's the way the cookie crumbles. And that means that you, the pork core pirates, get a five second lifeline and you take the biscuit. <laughs> Brian, are you happy? Mmm. Lovely. Well, we're going to take a break now. Watch those ads carefully, though, because I'll be quizzing you on them when we come back. And you lot at home can play along, too. Not that your life depends on it. <laughs> There's those. <laughs> Covered in great big pus-filled zits? Fed up with people saying that your face looks like a pizza? Well, worry no more, as help is at hand in the shape of the Waste Not What Not Zit Blitzer. Its unique pincer clamping action means those zits simply don't stand a chance. There now, doesn't that feel better? And if you buy now, we'll throw in a free Waste Not What Not Mirror Scraper. Just look at all that lovely pus. Why not try spreading it on a piece of toast as a light snack? The Waste Not What Not Zit Blitzer, yours for just 75 grots. Now that's one tasty deal. A scent so raw. A smell so natural. A stench so pure. For a longer-lasting linger, oh, the toilet. Welcome back to Fee Fi Fo Yum. So, teams, I hope you were watching and listening to those commercials carefully, because I'm about to quiz you on them. If you think you have an answer, press your buzzer. And if you're right, I'll give you a two-second lifeline. At this stage in the game, the Porth Gall Pirates have a ten-second lifeline. <laughs> The Wimbledon winners have a five-second lifeline. This is your chance to catch up, though, because there are ten seconds up for grabs in this round. Good luck, teams. Fingers on your buzzers as we play. Add analysis. Question one. In the Waste Not, Want Not, Zip Blitzer ad, the giant was fed up with people saying his face looked like... Wimbledon winners. Yes, what do you think? Pizza! Let's see if you're right. Fed up with people saying that your face looks like a pizza? Yes! You are right, and it did look like a pizza. Question two. What was being offered free with every order of a zip Wimbledon blitzer? Wimbledon winners. Yes, Wimbledon winners. Um, 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 a window, window wiper. wiper. No, window Thing. scraper. Wim window, window scraper. scraper. Let's see if you're right. If you buy now, we'll throw in a free Waste Not One Not Mirror Scraper. Yes, you are! Another two seconds. You could catch up. Question three. How many zits did you see the giant blitz? Four call pirates. The pirates. Three. Gonna need an four. answer from you. Four. A four. Was it four? Four. four. That's not right, so we're gonna hand it across. Five. five. Was it five? Let's have a look. Its unique pincer clamping action means those zits simply don't stand a chance. There now, doesn't that feel better? No, it was just three. OK, question four. In the Odor Toilet ad, was the Lady Giant wearing shoes? Yes Port or no? Port Pirates. Port Call Pirates? No. No? Let's see if you're right. Yes, you are right. Well done. Two seconds for you. Question five, last question in the round. What sort of bottle does Odor Toilet come in? Wimbledon winners. Yes. Gonna need it, or I'm gonna pass it over. Gonna pass it over. No. Hands up, so 
seconds. That means no seconds for you, no seconds for you. Let's see what it was. It was glass, but you were out of time. Sorry about that. So, at the end of that round, Porth Gold Pirates, you got one right, which is two seconds. Well done. <laughs> Wimbledon winners, you got two right, which is four Ooh, yes. seconds. Oh, How will that affect your overall lifelines? Let's find out. After the weather from Windy Wendy. <laughs> Here's the forecast wherever you live in Giant Land. Hello there, it's Windy Wendy Weather Van with your GTV weather. Now I am not looking forward to today because there's a strong chance of thunder here in Parkington. Elsewhere, there'll be strong winds in the north, the south, east, west, and a high pollen count. <laughs> so to summarise, <laughs> and that's your weather. Oh, beg your pardon. Welcome back to Fee Fi Fo Yum. Bad news, teams. Brian's run out of snacks, so the only thing left to eat is you. <laughs> oh, lovely. Things are getting serious. It's down to you to decide who's going to take on the great escape. This is really important for them. Remember, Brian will eat the losing team. Whoever stands up to the mark will have the fate of their teammates in their hands. OK, teams, out of your huddles, Port Call Pirates. Who's playing for you and why? Um, Megan! Megan. She, she's smart and she's cunning. Wimbledon winners, who's playing for you? Jordan. OK, Jordan, how do you feel about that? Good, cos I'm going to bring my team to freedom. <laughs> Megan and Jordan, <laughs> it's time for... Great escape. This is it. Megan and Jordan. Brian has trapped your teammates in the scales of justice and their future hangs literally in the balance. <laughs> it's down to you two to try to free them, but standing between you and them is the great escape. <laughs> First, you must tackle the donut dash. Then it's on to the kitchen roll crawl. But watch out for those meatballs. Once safely through, you will go on to the rolling pin run. But beware, Brian's got those tea bags out. Next, you must complete the chock bar challenge to build a walkway to Brian's big bowl. Then it's up the slippery slope to the rope. The player that gets to the top first must pull the release rope. Only then can your teammates escape down the freedom chute. I don't need to remind you, the team that's not the winner will be Brian's. Gina. Yeah. So, Port Call Pirates. You have an overall lifeline of 12 seconds. Well done. Wimbledon winners, you have an overall lifeline of nine <laughs> seconds. So that means, Megan, you have a three-second lead. How do you feel about that? Nervous, but I'm very confident. OK, all right, three seconds ahead. And what about you, Jordan? Do you think you can catch up? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Where do you think you'll catch up? Around the bar, the kitchen. The kitchen roll crawl. OK. Megan, you will go on Brian's first whistle. Jordan, you will go on Brian's second whistle three seconds later. Good luck, teams. Brian, over to you. That's it, Megan is off. And there goes Jordan. Whoa, very quickly through the donut dash. I think he's caught up already. The boat into the kitchen room. Seconds. It was a close one anyway. But Megan's catching in. And once you're in that big bowl, it does get very fungy. On you go, Jordan. He's into the custard. But he's got very slippy dived in, and that means he will be very, very slippy, and so will the slippery slope. 
And there we go, he's keeps going back, and Megan's on as well, so it's neck and neck now. That's it. Crab rush at it, that's what we've seen with teams before. The slower you go, the better chance you have. Watch the scent. You were really jumping at that slope, weren't you? Yeah. Megan took it so slowly that it worked for her. So that means you're not the winner. You're Brian's. Dinner. I'm so sorry, Jordan. Over to you, Brian! Ah, please don't eat me. Tasty. Sorry, Wimbledon winners, but you're not the winners. And rules are rules! I'm going to enjoy you. Um, oh, delicious. Ah! Very tight. That's it from Fee Five Bo Young. Yeah. Brian's enjoying those custard covered kids, but they won't keep him happy for long. Join us next time when two new teams of two munchies will fight for their freedom and hope to stay out of Brian's tum. We'll see you then. Say goodbye, Brian. Goodbye, Brian. Happy now? <sighs> Welcome back to CBBC. Chris here. Up next is something monstrous, disgusting, vile, and utterly hilarious. It's horrible histories. <clears throat> then on the CBBC channel at five, it's the new Danny's house, followed by Sam and Mark's TMI Friday live. What a truly terrific way to start the weekend. Game show where copying is good. The game show where copying is good is back on CBBC. Yes, very funny, Mark. Yes, very funny, Mark. And we've got even more games. And we've got even. Look, stop it! Look, stop it! Oh ha ha! Oh ha ha! I'm a donut. You're a donut. Oh. Copycat starts Monday at 4:30 on the CBBC channel. In 12 hours, Earth will be ours. <laughs> this is not a toy. A brand new series of the Sarah Jane Adventures. Mondays and Tuesdays, 5.15 on the CBBC channel. Terrible Tudors, gorgeous Georgians.